What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet, I'm Scott and today I have a video all about the syringe rifle. Now this video is a long awaited one, many people are asking can you do an is it worth it on the syringe rifle? So here it is, here is my thoughts. So the syringe rifle is a sort of unique kind of, it's not a specifically unique weapon but there's multiple of them and it's different to a normal gun. Basically it just works off syringes and there's a variety of syringes that you can craft and use to shoot people with for a variety of effects. There's things like the Berserk syringe which has a chance to frenzy a target for two minutes. There's things like the Bleed Out syringe which does 30 points of damage over 10 seconds to a target which is you know a pretty standard damage one. There's a Bloatfly Lava syringe with a chance on death for a target to spawn a Bloatfly. There's Lock Joint syringes which have a chance to paralyze targets for 10 seconds. Then there's even more interesting one like my Mind cloud syringes, which makes the target believe that you have vanished and has reduced chances to detect you for 30 seconds. Now, all these variety of syringes are very interesting, and basically, if I talk about whether this is worth it or not, a syringe rifle is worth using if you are a stealth sort of utility kind of based character. Ultimately, straight up in combat, it's not as good. The bleed out syringes just do not do enough damage. You're better off using practically any other weapon. But there's some of the unique ones there that are really, really good for a kind of like an assassin kind of character you could sneak around and shoot someone with a berserk syringe and have them go psycho for a two minutes attacking everyone else nearby them and then you could hit them with a bloat fly syringe so that when his friends kill him because he was all going crazy he then dies and a bloat fly hatches from him then attacking even more of the raiders so it allows you to sort of cause havoc from a quiet area maybe as a distraction so you can get by and all that kind of stuff and same as the mind cloud syringe is really good having your opponent believe that you vanished and making you harder to detect for 30 seconds all these little utility kinds of things are pretty cool and they are useful but, once again, unless you're going for really role-playing, kind of like a doctor kind of character, which we may do, or a very stealth-based character, which is going to use these things for, like, unique scenarios with the Berserk and, you know, tactical advantage kind of things. It's not really useful for all out just running out into the middle of combat. And, I mean, the Syringer perk doesn't benefit from any of the Rifleman perks or Mr. Sandman or... Basically any of the other perks, but, but Sniper 1 and 3 both work. But I mean, besides that, it's a cool gun. It's a little bit gimmicky, like, look, some of the things like the bloat fly aren't really, really, really necessary at all. I mean, you could get the same effect from just berserking multiple people. And um, to craft it can be a little bit of an annoyance because you need to get some of the bloat fly glands, plus use Psycho. But it's cool but a little bit gimmicky, so it's not a super priority. But the things like the Berserk Syringe, and the Mind Clown Syringe, and even the Lock Joint Syringe are really, really decent. So I guess that's basically my opinion on the Syringe Rifle. It's very good for like a stealth utility kind of character. But you know what? Overall, it's not super necessary. If you're going for a unique playstyle, then yeah, you can make them go Berserk and from the shadows and all these kind of things, sort of like an illusion character in Skyrim. But, but you could also just stab them with a knife using Ninja and blitz or you could just snipe them from a mile away and just get a headshot and kill them straight away so you know it's not always the most useful thing but it is a fun play style to have using it as a stealth utility kind of thing otherwise it's not really that useful you don't really need it if you're just a if you're a non-stealth character so uh yeah that's my thoughts on it um but anyways ultimately it's up for you to decide um i'm scott from fudge muppet i will see you next time with another fallout 4 video goodbye